Alright, in this video I want to demonstrate how with integration sometimes we have to use a bit of lateral thinking to help us get to, to the answer. Integration is not always intuitive and it's definitely not a mechanical process like differentiation is. Often when we are differentiating we can just look at the expression that we're trying to differentiate and we can tell exactly which rule that we need to use to carry out the uh, differentiation. So we know just by looking at the formula if we need to use either the chain rule or the product rule or the quotient rule or whatever. But if we come across an expression that we think needs to be integrated in a certain way, we can often uh, go through a process where it leads nowhere or we end up going around and around in circles. So in that way integration is not as easy as differentiation and we often need to use our problem solving skills to get onto the right track. The integral of dx on x squared plus 4x plus 5 is a good example of what I'm trying to communicate in this video. So in my recent videos I've been covering a lot about partial fraction decomposition and by looking at this it looks like we need to apply that process here. And the first step in partial fraction decomposition is to factorize the denominator. So I'll do that by using the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of delta divided by 2a. And delta is of course equal to b squared minus 4ac. So if we just now plug and chug into delta we get uh, 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5 and this gives us 16 minus 20 which is equal to negative 4. So delta is a negative number which means the square root is an imaginary number and this means we only have complex roots for this quadratic. So this quadratic is not reducible to a multiple of two linear factors so we call it irreducible and because it is irreducible we have to use a linear numerator to carry out the partial fraction decomposition. So I write ax plus b over x squared plus 4x plus 5 is equal to 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 5. And now on the right hand side I've actually got 0x plus 1 as my numerator. So I know straight away that a is going to equal 0 and B is going to equal 1. So we're right back where we started which means we can't actually decompose this expression at all. But as mathematicians we've always got another tool up our sleeve. So with x squared plus 4x plus 5 I can complete the square on this quadratic. So if I express this as x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 1, so I break the 5 into 4 plus 1. This part here can be expressed as x plus 2 squared. So my integral becomes the integral of dx on x plus 2 squared plus 1. And now the next step is not strictly necessary but I'll uh, include it for clarity anyway. So the next step I'm going to let u is equal to x plus 1 and that means du dx is equal to 1 so the differentiation of u and that implies then that du is equal to dx so the integral becomes the integral of du on u squared plus 1. And now this is an integral that I have seen before because I can let u is equal to tan theta and then du to theta is equal to sec squared theta and that implies in that du is equal to secant squared of theta times d theta. 
So then the integral becomes the integral of sec squared theta d theta all over tan squared theta plus 1. And now tan squared theta plus 1 is equal to sec squared theta. So I'll write to the integral down here now. So the integral of sec squared theta d theta divided by tan squared theta plus 1 is equal to the integral of sec squared theta on sec squared theta by d theta. And of course these uh, sec squared thetas cancel out. And all we have remaining is the integral of d theta. And this of course integrates to theta plus an integration constant c. Okay, now because we let u is equal to tan theta, that means theta is equal to the inverse tan of u. So we can write the answer as arc tan u plus c. So arc tan is just another way of expressing the inverse tan. And for u, we let it equal x plus 2 in the beginning. So the final answer is arc tan x plus 2 plus c. And just for interest, I will write the integral of dx on x squared plus 4x plus 5 is equal to the inverse tan of x plus 2 plus c. And this is what I think is cool about integration and maths in general, is because we can start with an expression and end up with an answer that is totally unexpected. So I hope this video has been of help. If, please give me a thumbs up if it has and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you next time.